hello everyone good evening welcome to my channel in this video today i'll particularly talk about drone registration in germany without further ado let's go on to registration process okay let's go website you'll be looking for is lva.de which is the website for German Civil Aviation Authority when you click this website it will take you to this page okay so the page obviously the website obviously is in German I've got MacBook so it gives me the choice or the option to translate to English so I'm gonna do that right okay now I can understand what I am seeing so if I scroll down all the way to the bottom you can see this um, picture okay big drones picture and uh, the writing saying UAS drones if I click that it will take me to this website okay and uh, this website has got all the information or the links that you require to register your drone okay so there are six different tabs first one is general information uh, it gives you all the information about legal uh, bases, okay, classification of flight operation, notification events, latest, uh, fee code of unit, all those things, okay. I'm not going to go into detail about these ones. A second one is remote pilot, okay. This is where you can do your online training and uh, get the certificate uh, for, you know, the flight ID. Go there, do the training, and uh, get your fly ID from there. Um, the one I am more interested in now is operator registration. Okay, this is where you open your account and uh, start your process to register your drone. Okay, uh, and at the bottom, there are three more tabs test center operating license and uh, general questions and answers okay now let's go and uh, click this operator registration tab and it will take you to this page right every single information about drone registration is here right so you'll be if you are flying a drone just for yourself not for the company not for the big firm you'll definitely you, you are a natural person okay and these are the documentations that you will require to be able to register your drone okay if you go further down it will show all the fee okay so if you are registering your drone for yourself uh, it will cost you 20 euro right now what we're gonna do is to us operator registration okay this is the link you're gonna have to uh, click let's click that here what i'm gonna do is open an account Select password. So 
Translate to English and continue. Right. So once you have provided your email address, selected password, it will take you to this page. Okay. And uh, there are four different tabs. National person who resides in Germany, which is not you. Uh, national person who resides within the EU and United States states and natural person who uh, is residing outside the EU. This is me. Okay. Okay. Since I'm from the United Kingdom, I'm gonna call. It, I'm gonna click natural person outside EU member state. Okay. Select it. Now continue, and it will take me to different page. Put down all your details. And company I'm not I don't have any company so not yet to give me let's continue and uh, it will ask you to upload identity document okay this is where you can upload your document for example, a photocopy of passport, a picture of your driving license, okay, anything. Um, and uh, continue from here. Right, next one, um, you also have to have insurance uh, with uh, any company. Okay, you don't have to have full insurance you can have liability insurance which is cheaper okay for that you have to go to google and look for various different uh, insurance companies okay once you have insurance you can also add that into this website upload that continue again and uh, see this is what it says Registration as operator US for option in the operating category is open and special as well as insurance access and modification EU certificate of competence A1 A3 are subject to a fee which is going to be twenty pound uh, per year. So it's gonna you you gonna once once you have uh, provided your insurance detail your uh, identity identification. Um, Certificate any kind of certificate or photo whatever it is um, your a1 a3 uh, pass certificate which is the Flyer ID, okay mm, Then you'll be asked to pay 20 pound uh, for Registration um, and to go through your test for a1 a3 which is mandatory to complete your registration you have to pay 25 euro okay uh, so i'm gonna complete the registration here now right so this is what it says um so it's gonna take you to this is your page okay this is your account now here so it does show my name remote id and the us uas operator id number is not there because I haven't uh, done my test yet okay uh, and at the same time since the registration is not complete I haven't got any operator number okay this will be updated once uh, the registration process is complete so you can see here yes my personal detail is green but I will still have to provide proof of identity insurance uh, then these two uh, what you call it so these two uh, tabs will go green okay and uh, you can also manage your account you use a username password current password uh, with your current password you can change your uh, password okay right so I'm going to take you back to this page again um, and in here it does show you the second important thing is to have your uh, flyer ID okay to be able to 
to get your flyer ID, you will have to go on to this page, okay, remote pilot, click there. Once you are in this page, let's click on to online training course. It's going to take you to this page, click on to get it started. And in this page, there are three tabs, learning. If you want to learn about various different things like aviation law and safety, human performance, operational procedures, general UAS customer, um, there is a reading section. This is the learning section where you can learn about all these things. But if you are comfortable about going on to test, um, the next great thing you can do is to click on to train and uh, you you have this uh, tab available here so to be able to go on to actual test you should be you must be able to get at least 75 percent of the marks okay so each of these uh, training exam consists 20 questions and out of those 20 questions you'll have to get at least 75 percent pass mark okay keep doing it until you are happy with the training exam and once you get 75 percent of the uh, 20 questions you will be allowed to go and take exam okay so to take exam you'll have to click this last tab and uh, it clearly says all the rules and uh, how many questions uh, in how many minutes so basically there are 40 questions and you have to complete those 40 questions within 45 minutes of time okay and again you have to be able to get 75 percent um, correct right so out of those 40 questions you'll have to get 75 percent right and again there is a fee for this exam and uh, the exam fee is 25 euro okay since i have already completed the test and uh, my registration is also complete what i'm gonna do now is to take you to my actual page okay So this is how a completed account will look like, right? So if I go further down, what it says is, see, my personal details are here, proof of identity, I sent my passport, okay, the copy of my passport, so it's green as well, and at the same time, I also sent a copy of my insurance liability insurance um, to um, German Civil Aviation Authority then they were happy with that at the same time I completed the online exam and the certificate looks like this okay wait this is how your flyer ID looks like okay that's a proof of completion of the online training once your registration is complete it does give you your remote pilot ID number which is this one and uh, the most important one UAS operator ID okay and uh, there is an instruction so instruction for attaching the UAS operator number to your UAS what it's saying is you don't you don't have to uh, write down the last three uh, digits or numbers on your drone so you can only stick these letters right Germany is part of the European Union as you all know if you register your drone in one of the European Union country, uh, you will be able to fly your drone in other countries, other European countries as well. Um, and the first rule is if you are 
as a visitor if you are planning to visit multiple European countries um, you will have to register your drone in the first country where you will be flying your drone first okay after that you can fly your drone with the same registration and certificate in other countries okay okay guys uh, thanks for sticking until the end that is the complete procedure for drone registration uh, in Germany uh, one of the difference in UK and Germany is you can't fly drone at night in Germany I, I hope that's that's the case with uh, most of the European Union countries uh, in UK you can fly drone at night um, obviously you'll have to have strobe um, attached to your drone um, one tip I, I would like to give it to you um, If you're not sure about anything, for example, if, if the DJI Fly app shows no fly zone, uh, what you can do is you can speak to people, speak to local people, and you may be able to fly drone there. For example, I was in Nevelhorn in Germany, and uh, the DJI app, the area, its area was showing that I was not not authorized to fly there so what I did was I the region I think one of the reason it was was uh, it was the area for paragliders a lot of paragliding people were in the sky at the time I arrived there so what I did was I went and speak to spoke to the paragliders um, they were they were genuinely nice people what they say um, was just, just fly the drone but be careful with the paragliders and try not to collide with them so what I did was when they were actually on their launch break I took that moment I captured that moment so went up took my drone out and flew the drone without any problem at the same time I was just looking at the paragliders making sure no one was flying and close to me or I was not flying close to them so it's, it's just a matter of um, common sense as well okay I hope um, this video has helped you in some way uh, to register your drone if you have got any queries or questions regarding drone registration in European Union or in Germany please uh, leave some comment uh, leave uh, your queries in the comment box and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible Thanks for watching. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and share my video. Thank you so much. Take care.